So today I wanted to tell you how to achieve this baby smooth, baby soft skin from top to toe. One has been sent to me to try and one I have bought myself ages ago and I've been using that for quite some time now. So the first product I wanted to tell you about is the Exfolium, Exfoliumate which is for face and body exfoliation but it is exfoliation like you probably never seen before and at first when I've opened it I thought there's no way this is gonna work so this is the exfoli mate sorry it's white so it's gonna you can't really see it can you see this blade and you get this separately so you can hang it so let me read you what he says about it exfoli mate Exfoliate is your own personal exfoliating mate, designed with innovative micro grooves and smooth edge technology to instantly glide along the skin with gentle fingertip control and pressure. Use Exfoliate for perfect precision exfoliation and noticeable results. By using your Exfoliate daily, you will naturally cleanse your pores and remove dulling surface debris to achieve naturally clear skin that is smooth to the touch with a radiant glow just add water okay so like i said i was very skeptical about this because i don't know at first i was scared of it because as you can see it's got this blade but the blade is not really sharp i can run my finger on it the only way i can explain it how it feels is almost like the bland side of your dinner knife um, when you glide your finger, you can sort of feel um, little roughness, uh, so it's not completely smooth. And I suppose these are the micro grooves. Uh, you can't really see them. Um, maybe if you use magnifying light, I mean magnifying glass. So how you use this? Um, you get in a bath or shower, and you need to be. In the bath or shower for about 10 minutes so your skin becomes really wet and supple and your pores open up and then you start using it and how you use it is wrap it around your wrist because you don't want to drop it really if you drop it on tiles or something then you probably will damage the blade and once your skin is, is wet and as far as I, I can see it doesn't matter if you uh, have bubble baths or if you wash yourself first it doesn't matter as long as your skin is wet and supple and then you hold that let me show you on my arm although you shouldn't do it on dry skin you put it 90 degrees to your skin and start running it down or up doesn't matter which direction and you put slight pressure on it, you know, don't just stroke it because that's not going to do anything. Um, and you should start seeing like the skin and rubbish collecting on there. You can use this all over your body. So you can use it on your legs, on your body, on your face, everywhere that you want to exfoliate. Uh, this is very good for your legs, you know, so you get rid of the dead skin on your legs so pre-shaping is quite good it will prevent ingrowing hairs when you're finished with it you run this under warm water and and you clean it you mustn't use any bathroom cleaners any abrasive stuff just basically rinse it you can take soft cloth i've noticed that after one use I had to take a cloth to really wipe it off and then you just hang it in your shower to dry so I have used it and like I said I was very skeptical and at first I wasn't getting anything but then I thought because I am using the next product that I will show you on quite a regular basis up I'm probably pretty well exfoliated but I was lying in the bath and thinking why did I really not exfoliate so well and I thought my chest just this area here so I started going down and up my neck 
and oh my god it started all coming off so it definitely works give it a, a bit of time again if you exfoliating really well on regular basis with something else you can still use it because even if you don't see lots of skin coming off it is still doing its job it's cleaning all the debris from your pores um, and stuff like that so you can still do it. you can use it every day if you want to you get a um, little um, um, leaflet so it tells you they can use it pre-shave um, for men because men can use it as well for your legs and on your face which will make your makeup to go on much better and you get a little brochure in here and it shows you how to use it on your face in which direction to go so i did that yesterday as well so i thought this is really nice little handy tool it's not big you can pack it and take it with you um because i think mostly we really need to exfoliate in the summer because we are in the sun a lot and um our skin dries out so um, this this would be great when you're going away because it's not very big you know you can just pack it do not use it seven to ten days after laser treatment or any chemical pill obviously because your skin will be much more sensitive but other than that obviously don't use it on a broken skin this is for healthy skin um, and it's for everybody for men women so I will leave you the link to that. I am not being sponsored by this company or anything like that. I don't have a discount co code. Uh, they've just sent it to me to try. So that was Exfolimate. The next product is something even simpler. It is a Turkish Kese mitt. And it is not an ordinary mitt. It looks like nothing. So this glove is what they used to use and still use in Turkish baths, which are called hammam. Um, and hammam is like an original um, health spa of the Ottoman times. So it was a mixture of sauna, bath, steam room. Um, it's, it's a whole ritual with exfoliation at the end. And that is what it does exfoliate you so well that you've never seen anything like it those bath mitts which are called kese are made made from 100 percent natural fiber so it's usually cotton cocoon silk and cellulose uh, fibers you know the tree cellulose i think fibers and they are weaved in a particular way using the traditional methods and so on so that's what it looks like when you get it. I I wish you could feel it. I don't know if I bring it. Oh yeah, you can see the weave of it. When you touch it, um, it feels quite oppressive. Oppressive, you know, almost like those loafers, those those dry loafers that, that you buy. It feels a bit like this. This is one that I've already used. So you will see that it will shrink a bit but that's absolutely fine and you can use it more than once so let me tell you how to use it because um when i talked about it before few people said that they've tried it and did absolutely nothing for them you have to be really patient and use it properly what i will do also because these you can get on ebay and i will leave you some um links and they are pretty cheap now if you are a bit skeptical uh, about buying from ebay and you don't know if you're getting the real thing i will give you another website which i found that is here in the uk but they ship worldwide and they sell all sorts of these they also sell sell olive oil soaps all the turkish bath products basically and I think they might have a channel actually on here on YouTube if not when you go to their website there, there are videos that you can watch and that explain much more what it, is, what it is all about and how to use it but I will tell you okay so first of all again you have to make sure that your skin is very wet 
and soft and supple, which means soaking. But with this glove, you mustn't use you mustn't wash yourself first of all with any soaps, any body washes. You mustn't put bubble bath into your bath, just pure clean water. Quite warm, so your skin softens much quicker. Then what you do, which I never used to do, but when I've watched this uh, video that I was just telling you about, they say when you very first time get it, you should wash it with mouth soap first and rinse it. I never did that, but maybe I should. But that's just the first time you wash it. So you soak in for at least 10 minutes. So be patient, read a book in a bath or whatever you do, drink champagne, um, listen to music, make sure you really soak. And then when the, you wet the glove, you wring it, put it on your hand. You've got here this, um, I just wrap it round and tuck it in. It comes undone now because it's not wet, but if you tuck it in a few times, it will stay, okay? And then you start exfoliating. Now, this is very important. Don't think you, you mustn't do it just as if you were using a um, normal bath sponge. You do have to put pressure and you will feel a bit not uncomfortable but you know like you are scratching with something like a loofah as if you were doing dry body brushing it will be that sort of feeling but you have to put that pressure on and i show you on my arm so first you start going that way and then that way and give it at least one minute i know one minute it probably feels like ages that's why I think a lot of people say they don't see anything because they give up. And the very interesting thing about it is once you start and once that first bit of skin starts coming off, I don't know how it works, but suddenly it's almost like that skin that is coming off is helping more skin to come off, if you know what I mean. So in between all this exfoliation, don't rinse this glove. Just see all this dirty disgusting skin on there just keep it there and keep going all over your body don't rinse it you rinse it right at the end so if you are patient i promise you you will see see it working because i even sometimes start and i'm thinking oh, nothing is happening and suddenly you will see just tiny bit of skin coming off and then just goes honestly so remember quite firm pressure long ways then this way and once you start seeing that those first bits of skin coming off wherever you go with this glove it will work and you will never ever have exfoliation like it like i said with the exfoliate that i was using in my last bath i did get nothing of my legs because i've used that few days before so with this mitt i would use it once a week and you could use the exfoliate every day so your skin will be all the time fresh yes you might not see as much skin uh, coming off every time you do it because you're doing it regularly but if you do it the way i told you with this glove you will definitely see it so remember soak for 10 minutes in clean water no bubble bath, don't wash your body first with soaps or shower gels, nothing. Soak for at least 10 minutes in nice hot water, warm water. And then stand up, I stand up. You don't want to, that's very important, you don't want to do it while you're lying in the water and doing it in the water. You have to stand up so you're not actually submerged in water. Your glove is wet, rang and start working. I just start, start at my legs at the bottom going this way first then this way and put a bit of pressure almost hug your hand or your arm or your leg and go this way and then this way when you're finished your skin will be also soft um, rinse this not in soap or anything just in warm water and hang it to dry it will soften a bit it will feel a bit different it will shrink a bit but it is still working um i i can't tell you oh this one's got a bit of like dried up skin on it 
I can't tell you how many times you can use it. I don't know if it says on that website. Uh, you will have to see. But you can pick up these on eBay for three, four pounds. And if you want to go to this website that I've told you about, uh, they are seven pounds. And they have actually a variety of gloves. They have a nice thick one. They have one for sensitive skin. They also have little ones for your face because you can use it on your face as well. And like I said, they are, I think they have one as well to do your back. So it's like a long one with handles. And also they sell all the olive oil soaps and stuff like that. And like I said, they ship worldwide. And I think it's just um, standard ship, shipping fee and it's not very much. But you can read all about that. And when you've finished all your exfoliating, pat your skin dry and then put some really good nourishing body lotion or body butter whatever you prefer to use so that's how i keep my skin baby soft um i definitely would recommend re recommend those two products this one is probably um requires less work um you can do it while you're lying in a bath this one like i said you need to give it a bit of you know remember don't just stroke yourself with it like if you as if you were stroking yourself with a normal um bath sponge you have to you know imagine you're trying to exfoliate it's not painful but it also helps with uh, the blood circulating you know it's very very invigorating i love that feeling um yes your skin gets red but that's because the blood is circulating suddenly so i would strongly recommend both of these products so i hope you enjoyed this video found it helpful thank you very much for watching and i see you soon bye